What drew us to the story of the abolitionists was a really simple thing. I can't think of any transformative moment in American history that stems from the actions of ordinary individuals as much as the abolitionists. A group of people from totally different walks of life, from north and south, of different races, different genders, came together at a moment and took on the greatest obstacle to America achieving the ideals of its founding, slavery. A lot of people think that Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, and indeed Abraham Lincoln did pass the Emancipation Proclamation. But in many ways, the abolitionists of this country, the, the men and women, the ordinary men and women who struggled and fought and tried for decades to convince slave owners to abolish slavery, they're the people who really made it happen. The story of the abolitionists is told primarily through the story of five main characters who represent different aspects of the abolitionist movement. When these people started their movement, it was the absolute, it was the lifeblood of the nation's economy, not just, not just the South. The slavery was just woven into the fabric of the country. I'm really excited about the style of this film because it's this blend of drama and documentary. A lot of the story takes place before photography. What we do have is a lot of written accounts of, of what the abolitionists said, what they did, what they thought. They wrote letters, they wrote journals. We know that John Brown and Frederick Douglass had dinner on this night. We know what they ate. We know basically what they talked about. We've been at this for years. Freedom is a long road, Mr. Brown. I think the most challenging part of creating The Abolitionists was really the calibration of the drama and the documentary. Mother, it is my duty to bear testimony Angelina, against Angelina, mind your own business. It is my business. This is an important story. It's always going to be an important story, but it's particularly resonant um, right now in January of 2013. will be the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. I really truly believe that PBS is the one, one network that would give us the time and resources to develop the story and tell it the way it deserves to be told. I really hope in the making of The Abolitionists that the names William Lloyd Garrison, Frederick Douglass, Angelina Grimke, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and John Brown can really be seen as American heroes in the first chapter of the great civil rights story that is so central to American history.